Welcome to the report for Dr. Mountain. We're going to talk about uh, how the far left and the far right agree on something. Yes, they agree on Zionism. Stick around and listen. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about that uh, thorny issue of the Israel-Palestine conflict and how it's strange bedfellows at the moment, how the far left and the far right um, agree on the Israel-Palestine conflict. If you look into, uh, you know, if you go to many, many uh, people who are far left activists, from Clementine Ford to Richard Lowenstein to a whole bunch of people, they all agree at the moment that the Zionists are completely out of control and murdering people um, left, right and centre and that, you know, the way, the language they use to describe what's going on in Gaza is, uh, well, I think quite appropriate, but it, it actually kind of matches essentially the critique of um, the far right when it comes to the Zionists, you know. Um, so, you know, I mean, it's rather strange, um, but not really that strange. I mean, I, I've always thought that the far left and the far right are not as poles apart uh, as people think. First of all, they're both kind of utopian. Uh, the far right and the far left are both utopian. And I, I guess, you know, do I call it the far left? I mean, I call it the authentic left. Like, to me, the authentic left is anti-Zionist, right? And to me, the authentic right is anti-Zionist as well. So, you know, these are, you know, uh, what I would say is the difference is, is that what the left is seeing the Zionists do to the Palestinians and, you know, the bombing of hospitals, the, you know, the murder of women and children, um, uh, you know, the, the, you know, like getting groups of people together under humanitarian, uh, say there's going to be humanitarian aid and then bombing them. That recently happened just in the last 48 hours. So, you know, I mean, you know, the left is obviously up in arms about that, but I think the far right is saying it's not just the Palestinians. This is happening all over. This, this, uh, I guess, Jewish supremacy is, um, you know, not just happening in, you know, on the outskirts of Israel, whatever territories, but it's happening on a global scale, um, you know, through things like the pandemic, through things like mass immigration flooding, um, you know, Western countries. So in a sense, um, the anti-Zionist critique of the far right is more profound and is much wider. And that now is an interesting time to sort of actually speak to far left people and to say, listen, you know, the enemy of global solidarity um, you know, the enemy of, um, you know, is, is what you are now recognising. And that you are on the right page right now, but you need to expand your critique. You know what I mean? You need to expand it, you need to unpack it. And you don't necessarily need to demonise people from the far right. I don't know, I mean, I will admit, maybe the far right sees um, Zionism, you know, under every bed, which of course it isn't. You know what I mean? It's not responsible for every single problem in the world. You know, I think the far right can go too far there, but it, it does acknowledge um, that, you know, this kind of problem is, is a global thing, almost a globalist thing, one could say. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, you know, I, I just think it's an interesting time um, that the far left and the far right can come together at the moment, they can talk to each other, uh, and that maybe the far left can think, you know, maybe the far right does have a point, um, you know, about, uh, you know, this kind of, where they see Zionism in, in, involved in a lot more things around the globe um, than just the bombing of innocent women and children in, in Gaza. So, you know, I think it's an interesting time. And, you know, I've never seen the far right and far left as enemies. Um, you know, essentially, they can come together and uh, we can, you know, demand a ceasefire. We can demand an end to wars, not just the ones, you know, around Israel, you know, and all the Middle East wars, which, which is what the hell is that about? But the end of, you know, wars uh, in, like the Ukraine one, which is led by the Zionist Zelensky. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted to uh, comment on the interesting nexus going on. And thank you all for listening today.